so on the topic of uh, big tube header against small tube header to say like there is big big misconception that big tube headers produce more horsepower at least for this stockish uh, engine combination so here we have a k2482 uh, tested with 4 to 1 header that has 48.3 primaries against the 4 1 header that has 45 millimeter primaries and on this 4 to 1 header they step to bigger size on the secondary and uh, we can see it here that 4 1 header takes it in the mid range and there is no difference anywhere else so even though the 4 to 1 if we were to make it uh, like if we made 4, four to 1 and 4 1 the same <coughs> uh, primary uh, diameter like proper design for two four to one header would kill this four one header in the mid range but as we can see it here it lost to four one header which is just ridiculous next testing was done by the Richard Holdener he had four to one header uh, done with the 45 diameter primaries and 45 diameter secondary so this would be considered extremely small tube header uh, blue line is for one header with 51 millimeter primaries that is stepping up to 54 millimeter also on the primaries because for one header does not have secondaries so we can see it here that 4 to 1 header with tiny diameter runners is better in this section then it loses it here and uh, after 70 uh, 3000 rpm it is worst by uh, around four or five horsepower then per se big tube head but problem with uh, this Richards four to one header was uh, lengths of the primaries and secondaries were just terrible they needed to be around 150 millimeters shorter on the primary and on the secondaries to to be a proper header that will uh, have maximal output and uh, efficiency on the K24 engine so if this uh, 4 to 1 header has had the runner length adjusted we would see even less difference maybe it would be exactly the same as for one big tube header uh, next test was done by 4AG garage 4 to 1 header was a copy of the DTR header it was big tube header and then he made new header it's his design of 4 1 header with 45 millimeter uh, diameter primary I mean primaries all the way there was no stepping up or anything on his 4-1 header and there was substantial gain in the mid range of 13.5 uh, horsepower and uh, made same top end power so again we don't see any benefit of the big tube header 
and this is uh, on my friend's car with the <coughs> big top <coughs> exhaust works header so this header like its design is complete garbage secondaries are far too long primaries are far too short tubes are far too big and that is representative in the acceleration so uh, on speedometer his car is going uh, 19 seconds so that is around 2.5 seconds slower than my car was going with Sergey header uh, no cat reflash and uh, my intake box modification and my car is executive model so it is a fair bit heavier than his type s and when I compare it to <coughs> my friend's car who also had a, a Type S his car, car was a full second faster than mine from 100 to 200 so you can see how big of a difference it is it's only a header difference between those two cars this car has exhaust work header big tube one and uh, this other friend's car had a Sergey Bull header so on header is different and uh, acceleration is huge difference is ac in acceleration uh, acceleration is really really big so just do not fall for this uh, I don't know what the fuck this is advertisement about big tube headers as we see by all data they are not beneficial so except in this case where it was down to the design of 4 to 1 header being absolutely horrible with uh, too long primaries too long secondaries and secondaries being also 45 which is not optimal 